Welcome guys to this new video here into Ollie Media. Today I'm going to be guiding you through the process of creating an ad account here into Facebook Business Manager. So the very first thing you want to do of course is to go into business.facebook.com. Once you are in here, it's going to be asking you to get started with a business portfolio name. So to get started with a business portfolio name, I'm going to name this business portfolio name. I'm going to name Soda for example. I'm going to add my first name, my last name and the business email. So it's going to be really important to add a valid email address. If you have an email that is not from Gmail, that will be really correct. If you don't, don't worry, you can use your Gmail account instead. Let's go here into create. And now as you can see, we have a business portfolio created. Now what I need to do is to get started by adding much more elements directly. So here, now that we are into my business manager account, now that we have created our business information, let's provide details about the business, such as the name, the business email, the business address, so you can click into submit and create your account. So I'm gonna go here into next. I'm gonna not add anyone here, and I'm gonna go for confirm. Now, as you can see, we are inside our very first business portfolio. So here, we are not able, of course, to get started, uh, of course, with any profile, with any business, because we don't have actually anything added yet. So if I go into my business portfolio, and here I go for all the tools. Inside all the tools, what I can do is to look out for the section that says advertise. Here into advertise, I can look out for ads. Now here into ads, what you can do is to get started in creating your very first ad. So I'm going to go and choose the option that says get started. Usually this one would be telling you that you don't have an actual ad account into Facebook to get started. So that's the reason why you wanted to create one totally for free. So if I, of course, create the, if I am able to get started here into the promotion and create ad, you can, you're actually good to go. If you are not able to do it, so then what you can do is to go directly into your business settings. Here inside your business setting, what you can do is to go once again into your business settings. And here I make sure that I do have the availability to start by adding my very first ad account. So focus here into accounts, scroll into add account. And as you can see, we don't have any account yet. So I go for add and I go for add and add account. So here's gonna be asking you to add an ad account ID. Now here we don't have an actual ad account, so I'm going to create a new ad account. So here I'm going to go for Soto, Timeline, Currency in Dallas, and this account will be used for this business that we have just created. And I go for Create. Now as you can see, we do have this element, of course, the partial access, manage campaigns, we're able to view performance, to manage creativity mockups, and to manage the ad account. So I choose myself, I assign it. And lastly, you need to add a payment information. Payment information should be uh, needed to provide it and provide, of course, to get started and creating some ads here into Facebook. So once you have added your payment information, we can actually go back. Let's try to reload the page and we are now gonna be able to get started with some ads. So here, in order to get started to adding ads into Facebook or into Instagram, I can strongly recommend you to add an Instagram account as well as a Facebook account. So for that, let's go here into all the tools once again. Let's go into settings. Into settings, instead of going directly into ads accounts, I'm going to focus into pages. Here into pages, what I can do is to add and claim an existing Facebook page if you already have one. If you don't, you can create a new Facebook page and automatically will be added in here. The same thing here into Instagram accounts. You can go here into add, add choose my actual Instagram account so I can claim the Instagram account and everything should be added in here. Once you have done that, you're now gonna be able to use those elements to get started ads and to post it into those accounts. So now let's focus into all the tools. Into all the tools, I'm going to focus here into Ads Manager. Now we are able to get started here into Ads Manager and create our very first ad. So we can see here that we have the campaign section. Here, as you can see into the upper side, we do have our ad account and we have the campaigns, the ad sets, and the ads. So I can go and focus here into campaigns and start my new campaign. 
choose the campaign objectives you would like to get started with. For example, wellness, traffic, engagement, leads, sales, and app promotion. So I'm going to focus into traffic. I recommend the settings, the recommended settings. And then what you can do to start by customizing your campaign name, such as the categories, the A-B test, the advanced compatibility building, and here have the ad set, for example, the conversion to send them directly into an Instagram profile, the bed control and the budget, for example, how much money would you like to spend a daily? Let's go for $2. And here have the button scheduling, the audience control, usually I focus only into the United States, minimum age 18, the language, I hit now into edit, and I only focus into people who only speak English. And to the right part, you can see that we have an audience definition. So the more audience we have, the better. But you want to make sure that you don't have something really specific and something not too much broad. You want to be inside this green bar. So we have estimated daily results of 189 and 546. Something, let's say for example, really recommended. So I'm going to hit now into next. And now we can start by adding more elements inside my uh, product. So for example, here's the ad name. Where the Facebook should be created. What is the Instagram account going to be using for these actual ad? the ad setup and here you can add your media so you can add a video you can add an image you can do it so i can strongly recommend you that if you're going to be doing some ads here inside your facebook business manager try to use an actual video because videos are so much more engaging than uh images and it can give you of course really great great sales so you choose your video go for next and you can crop the image or the video that you just created. Once you have chose those elements, what you can do is to make sure that you have the primary text. Let's say, for example, shop here now. You have the description, you have the call to action, here's the tracking, and the URL parameters. And to the right part, you can see how it's actually going to look your ad when it appears into Instagram as well into Facebook. And once you have successfully done that, let's go here into published. And once you get into publish, you want to make sure that your actual post has now been active and accepted. So make sure that you can just make sure that all of those elements should now be running correctly and you don't have any issues with them. So there you have it, guys. A really easy tutorial to how you can successfully create an ad account into the Facebook Business Manager for the 2024. So you're not ready to start creating and running ads to grow your business. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the online media for more tips and tutorials. Until next time.